State Internet Information Office Ministry of Industry and Information Technology of the People's Republic of China Ministry of Public Security of the People's Republic of China make number 12. The regulations on the administration of deep synthesis of Internet information services has been reviewed and approved at the 21st Office Meeting of the State Internet Information Office in 2022 on November 3, 2022, and has been approved by the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology and the Ministry of Public Security. It is hereby promulgated. Since 2023 it will come into force on January 10. Provisions on the Administration of Deep Synthesis of Internet Information Services Chapter 1 General Provisions Article 1 In order to strengthen the in-depth integrated management of Internet Information Services, promote the core values of socialism, safeguard national security and social public interests, and protect the legitimate rights and interests of citizens, legal persons, and other organizations, according to the Network Security Law of the People's Republic of China, and the Chinese People's The Law of the People's Republic of China on Data Security, the Law of the People's Republic of China on the Protection of Personal Information, the Measures for the Administration of Internet Information Services, and other laws and administrative regulations formulate these regulations. Article 2 These regulations apply to the provision of Internet Information Services, hereinafter referred to as Deep Synthesis Services, using Deep Synthesis Technology within the territory of the People's Republic of China. Where laws and administrative regulations provide otherwise, such provisions shall prevail. Article 3 The National Network Information Department is responsible for overall planning and coordination of the governance and related supervision and management of the National Deep Synthesis Service. The competent telecommunications department of the State Council and the Public Security Department are responsible for the supervision and management of deep integration services according to their respective responsibilities. The Local Network Information Department is responsible for overall planning and coordination of the governance and related supervision and management of deep synthesis services within the administrative region. Local telecommunications authorities and public security departments are responsible for the supervision and management of in-depth composite services within their respective administrative regions according to their respective responsibilities. Article 4 To provide in-depth synthesis services, we shall abide by laws and regulations, respect social morality and ethics, adhere to the correct political direction, public opinion orientation, and value orientation, and promote in-depth synthesis services to be good. Article 5 Encourage relevant industry organizations to strengthen industry self-discipline, establish and improve industry standards, industry guidelines, and self-discipline management systems, supervise and guide deep synthesis service providers and technical supporters to formulate and improve business specifications, conduct business according to law, and accept social supervision. Chapter 2 General Provisions Article 6 No organization or individual may use deep synthesis services to produce, reproduce, publish, or disseminate information prohibited by laws and administrative regulations, and shall not use deep synthesis services to engage in activities that endanger national security and interests, damage national image, infringe on social public interests, and disrupt the economy. Activities prohibited by laws and administrative regulations, such as social order, violation of the legitimate rights and interests of others, etc. Providers and users of deep synthesis services shall not use deep synthesis services to produce, reproduce, publish, and disseminate false news information. Those who reprint news information produced and published based on in-depth synthesis services shall lawfully reprint the news information released by the source unit of the Internet News Information Draft. Article 7 The Deep Synthesis Service Provider shall implement the main responsibility of information security, establish and improve management systems such as user registration, algorithm mechanism review, scientific and technological ethics review, information release review, data security, personal information protection, anti-telecom network fraud, emergency response, etc., with safe and controllable technical safeguards. Article 8 Deep Synthesis Service Providers shall formulate, 
and disclose management rules and platform conventions, improve service agreements, perform management responsibilities in accordance with laws and agreements, and remind Deep Synthesis service technical supporters and users to undertake information security obligations in a prominent manner. Article 9 Deep Synthesis service providers shall legally authenticate the real identity information of users of Deep Synthesis services based on mobile phone numbers, ID card numbers, unified social credit codes, or national network identity authentication public services, and shall not submit real identity information to users without authenticity in depth synthesis service users of identity information authentication provided information publishing services. Article 10 Deep Synthesis Service Providers shall strengthen the management of deep synthesis content, and adopt technical or manual methods to review the input data, and synthesis results of deep synthesis service users. Providers of in-depth synthesis services should establish and improve feature databases for identifying illegal and bad information, improve storage standards, rules, and procedures, and record and retain relevant network logs. If the deep synthesis service provider discovers illegal and bad information, it shall take measures to deal with it according to the law, keep relevant records, and report to the Network Information Department and relevant competent departments in a timely manner, take warnings, restrict functions, and suspend relevant deep synthesis service users in accordance with the law and contract. Services, Closing Accounts and Other Disposal Measures Article 11 In-depth synthesis service providers shall establish and improve the mechanism for dispelling rumors, and if they find that false information is produced, copied, published, or disseminated through in-depth synthesis services, they shall promptly take measures to dispel rumors, keep relevant records, and report to the Internet Information Department and relevant competent departments report. Article 12 The Deep Synthesis Service Provider shall set up a convenient portal for user complaints and public complaints and reports, publish the processing process and feedback time limit, and promptly accept, process and feedback the processing results. Article 13 Application distribution platforms such as Internet application stores shall implement security management responsibilities such as review of listing, daily management, and emergency response, and verify the security assessment and filing of deep synthesis applications, take disposition measures such as not listing, warning, suspending services, or removing from shelves. Chapter 3 Data and Technology Management Specifications Article 14 Deep Synthesis Service Providers and Technical Supporters shall strengthen the management of training data, and take necessary measures to ensure the security of training data, if the training data contains personal information, they shall abide by the relevant regulations on personal information protection. Providers of deep synthesis services and technical supporters who provide the function of editing biometric information such as faces and voices shall remind users of deep synthesis services to notify the edited individuals in accordance with the law and obtain their separate consent. Article 15 In-depth synthesis service providers and technical supporters should strengthen technical management and regularly review, evaluate, and verify the mechanism of generating synthesis algorithms. Deep synthesis service providers and technical supporters who provide models, templates and other tools with the following functions shall conduct security assessments by themselves or by entrusting professional institutions in accordance with the law. 1. Generating or editing biometric information such as faces and voices. 2. Generating or editing non-biometric identification information such as special objects and scenes that may involve national security, national image, national interests, and social public interests. Article 16 Deep Synthesis Service Providers shall take technical measures to add signs that do not affect users' use of information content generated or edited by using their services, and preserve log information in accordance with laws, administrative regulations, and relevant state regulations. Article 17 In-depth synthesis service providers who provide the following in-depth synthesis services, which may cause confusion or misidentification by the public, shall place a prominent mark on the reasonable position and area of the generated or edited information content, and remind the public of the in-depth synthesis. 1. 
intelligent dialogue, intelligent writing, etc. that simulate natural persons to perform text generation or editing services. 2. Editing services that generate voices such as synthetic voices and imitation voices, or significantly change personal identity characteristics. 3. Editing services such as face generation, face replacement, face manipulation, gesture manipulation, etc., which generate images and videos of people or significantly change personal identity characteristics. 4. Generation or editing services such as immersive simulation scenes. 5. Other services that have the function of generating or significantly changing information content. Providers of in-depth synthesis services that provide in-depth synthesis services other than those specified in the preceding paragraph shall provide prominent identification functions and remind users of in-depth synthesis services that they may carry out prominent identification. Article 18 No organization or individual shall use technical means to delete, tamper with, or conceal the deep synthetic logo specified in Articles 16 and 17 of these regulations. Chapter 4 Supervision and Inspection and Legal Responsibilities Article 19 In-depth synthesis service providers with public opinion attributes or social mobilization capabilities shall perform filing, modification, and cancellation filing procedures in accordance with the Internet Information Service Algorithm Recommendation Management Regulations. Deep Synthesis Service technical supporters should refer to the provisions of the preceding paragraph to perform the filing and modification and cancellation filing procedures. Deep Synthesis Service providers and technical supporters who have completed the filing shall indicate their filing number and provide a link to the public information in a prominent position on the website, application, etc. that they provide services to the outside world. Article 20 Where deep synthesis service providers develop and launch new products, new applications, or new functions that have public opinion attributes or social mobilization capabilities, they shall conduct security assessments in accordance with relevant state regulations. Article 21 Network information departments, telecommunications authorities, and public security departments conduct supervision and inspection of deep synthesis services according to their duties. Deep synthesis service providers and technical supporters shall cooperate in accordance with the law and provide necessary technical and data support and assistance. If the cybersecurity and informatization departments and relevant competent departments discover that deep synthesis services have relatively large information security risks, they may, according to their responsibilities, require deep synthesis service providers and technical supporters to take measures such as suspending information updates user account registration, or other related services. Deep synthesis service providers and technical supporters should take measures as required to rectify and eliminate hidden dangers. Article 22 Deep synthesis service providers and technical supporters who violate these regulations shall be punished in accordance with relevant laws and administrative regulations, if serious consequences are caused, they shall be punished severely according to law. If a violation of public security management is constituted, the public security organ shall impose a public security management punishment according to law, if a crime is constituted, criminal responsibility shall be investigated according to law. Chapter 5 Supplementary Provisions Article 23 The meanings of the following terms in these regulations. Deep synthesis technology refers to the technology of using deep learning, virtual reality and other synthetic algorithms to produce text, images, audio, video, virtual scenes and other network information, including but not limited to. 1. Techniques for generating or editing text content such as chapter generation, text style conversion, and question and answer dialogue. 2. Technologies for generating or editing voice content, such as text to speech voice conversion, and voice attribute editing. 3. Technologies for generating or editing non-speech content, such as music generation and scene sound editing. 4. 
Technologies for generating or editing biometric features in images and video content such as face generation, face replacement, character attribute editing, face manipulation, and gesture manipulation. 5. Image generation, image enhancement, image restoration, and other technologies that generate or edit non-biological features in images and video content. 6. 3D reconstruction, digital simulation, and other technologies for generating or editing digital characters and virtual scenes. Deep synthesis service providers refer to organizations and individuals that provide deep synthesis services. Deep in synthesis service technical supporters refer to organizations and individuals who provide technical support for deep in synthesis service. Deep synthesis service users refer to organizations and individuals who use deep synthesis services to produce, copy, publish, and disseminate information. Training data refers to the labeled or benchmark data set used to train the machine learning model. Immersive simulation scene refers to a virtual scene with a high sense of reality that is generated or edited by applying deep synthesis technology and can be experienced or interacted by participants. Article 24 Deep Synthesis Service Providers and Technical Supporters who engage in online publishing services, online cultural activities, and online audiovisual program services shall also comply with the regulations of the press and publication, culture and tourism, and radio and television authorities. Article 25 These regulations shall come into force on January 10, 2023.